So people have been asking me to do this for a while, right? And in the video, um, God, I made I made a video and I just taken medication. I actually had to go in the hospital recently because I had a bad reaction to medication. Um, and it, it looks like I just drank, um, like five shots of ouzo on that video. I'm like, man, and, and I've got fucking cigarette hanging out. And, um, yeah. Wow. How embarrassing, but I'm going to leave the video up because well, why not? I mean, Bad reaction to a medication. I didn't. I just look sloppy. I'm not. Um, I'm not running through the screens naked with a knife covered in green jello. Um, I just people might be like, "Man, that guy's messed up." But um, right about the the theories of of um, what happened. What did what was achieved at the cross? Ransom theory is fine. But it wasn't paid to the devil, like Anselm says, or paid back to God. These 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 ideas. Well, I think Calvin even twisted that one. But they claim that oh, Eusebius or Origen. No, yeah, Christus Victor is acceptable. Ransom theory kind of, in the Orthodox view is it's paid to reality, basically. Like okay. The world is getting pulled in one way towards sin, right? Falling away from God. Christ, boom, death, burial, and resurrection caused everything to fall into the other direction, right? So it's like a tablecloth that's being pulled, and all reality is being pulled back to an apocalyptic moment where, like it or not, we're going to hit it. We're, you're going to hit. You're going to hit God, whether it's the end of days or your death. You're running back into Him. And being in the presence of God without baptism, without the Eucharist, and without a contrite heart is hell. It is the burning furnace. God is either, God is the blazing fire, right? That's, that's the imagery that's always used with God from Mount Sinai to Pentecost. And even in Jeremiah talking about the, either the refining fire or, uh, or refining the silver, refining the dross off the silver, or burning up the chaff, right? So you're either burning off the dross in pure ecstasy in, in the presence of God as you're perfected, right? This is the sanctification after death, or not sanctification after death, the perfection after death part, or you're being blazed. You know, that child rapist, yeah, he thought he got away at death, he didn't get away at death. When they put the needle in his arm, that's just the beginning of his problems, right? So that's the view. There's moral influence. There's Christus Victor. You have all these things. Uh, we don't hold to one of them. We say there's multiple views. The problem with um, the guy that argued against Augustine, Pelagius, was he said only moral influence. It's not only um the, the problem with Protestants, right, is this, they'll, they'll say only this way, or this way, or that way. We look at the Arminianists and the Calvinists and go, I mean, we're on the same page with the Lutheranists when it comes to looking at the Arminianists and the Calvinists and going, you're both extremists in the wrong way. Like, they're, a Calvinist will say something and be like, that's right, but that other part's wrong that you're saying, and then you'll hear an Arminianist, that's right, but the other part's wrong that you're saying. God has foreknowledge. Yeah. Does that mean things are predestined? No. How does that work? Um, tell me how you can understand the Trinity, and I'll tell you how the mind of God can view reality. Because you can't do that, and I can't do that. We have limits. And Calvinism, um, like uh, these huge structures that were made by Augustine, Anselm, and Aquinas. And Aquinas, actually on his deathbed, said it's all straw. So good for him. He, in the end, he was right. Uh, are no, we that wasn't revealed to us, right? Christianity is, is like Judaism or Islam, even though Islam's fake, so it's Judaism. They, they claim to be revealed religions. Christianity is revelation, right? 
We go by what was revealed to us and what was passed down to us. We don't add or subtract. There's even books in the New Testament, like John and the Apocalypse of John, that say, don't add or take away from this book, right? Well, we say the same, and, and the Protestants try to say that compared to that's for the whole Bible. No. Well, don't take away the traditions. Don't add any. Don't take any away. Right? If you're not perverting things, I guess there's there's new traditions that form organically, right? Um, but you, you don't add or subtract, right? You're, you don't take a scalpel like Marcion. And this is the problem of the Protestants. Is this is this is the it, it's the problem of Pelagius. It, this way, right? Um, and Calvinists will call everybody who's not a Calvinist a Pelagianist, right? Oh, you think you're earning your salvation, or the Protestant lie of, oh, Catholics think they're working their way to heaven, they're they're buying their way to heaven with good works. There's not been a single Catholic I have ever met or even heard of that believes that, right? Maybe again. Just like how people say, oh, there's, I knew people that worshiped the saints. Maybe there is some Guatemalan woman, right, who can barely read or write, who doesn't know much about the church, doesn't go to church, who actually practices Santeria, who does that, right? But there is no consistent liturgical attending people who worship saints or think they're earning their way to heaven with works, right? This is These are Protestant lies, right? We're saved by faith. We're saved by grace, yeah. Through faith, okay, amen. Um, bearing the fruit of works. What, you can't say that. Well, didn't James say, faith without works is dead? Well, what, what are those works, by the way? Well, they start with baptism in the Eucharist and going to liturgy, which is reciting the Psalms, the Protestants, what do they do on Sunday? Besides, it's it's like masturbation, it's mental masturbation. They do nothing that looks anything like the early church, or at what the church ever did anywhere. They they sing American pop rock music, right? Which they claim is from the devil, by the way. That's very something to think about. But it's soft rock. It's wuss rock. It's the type of music nobody would want to listen to. It's not holy or spiritual. It just has they rich plays baby and honey and my girl with jesus and christ and they um then they have a motivational speaker who they call a preacher they don't have the holy it's the it's literally desolation and it's an abomination they in the holy place of god a church they have made it desolate and an abomination they are the abomination of desolation standing in the holy place of god just as the muslims took the churches, and mosques are built just like the ancient churches were. And they stopped the liturgy, covered up the icons, like Hagia Sophia, and they 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 invented their own thing. At least the Muslims understood the idea. They even have a liturgy, right? Their, their weird prayer is just an aberrant form of our Good Friday prayers, right? Because we bow on Good Friday and during Lent. They, they took that from the Assyrian Church. Actually, it was from the Assyrian Church of the East, but the same thing, right? It, it's the abomination of desolation standing in the holy place of God. The Protestants and the Muslims are the same problem, right? You guys have Calvin in the West. We have Muhammad in the East. And they're, they both set up violent theocracies that kill people. So the view of the cross is that there can be an infinite amount of them, right? We know which ones are wrong, though, which is satisfaction, penal substitution. That is no. We, we reject that full, wholeheartedly. Can somebody accept Christus Victor and not, or, or ransom theory where the, the whole world, Christ paid to, as like a sponge for the, the, the sin of the reality of things? Yeah, and not accept moral influence. Yeah, or, you know, I think I counted five in a video that I made about four years ago. Um, somebody can accept one or all of them or three of them. It's it's not, you know, you'll pick it up when you get to, you know, going, attending liturgy and reciting the Psalms. When has a Protestant ever used the Psalms in the way that they're supposed to be done, Right. 
they have when when okay in the temple when the psalms were being recited or even in a synagogue where's their organs or um a nun with a guitar or a drum set no the psalms were made to be you can it even says cella in there these are responsive they're liturgical right how could a protestant ever understand the view of what christ did without going to the worship of this is what he bought for us our liturgical worship is what got bought right that's the apocalypse right of uh, of john that's the the structure that the apocalypse john was written around um that's they can't ever appreciate how can they appreciate easter if they have no lent if they have no holy week protestants think of this protestants celebrate easter but they have no holy week they have no um, Lent. They, 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 they call there's a war on Christmas, even though Protestants were the ones that started the war against Christmas. So they have Christmas, but they don't have Advent. And then they claim, I've heard these filthy Protestants that have infected the minds of Mexicans, and there's Mexican Protestants now, which... Mexican evangelicals are, are the worst, just like Italian evangelicals, because they betrayed their entirety of their identity and their culture, just like evangelical uh, Irish. And, and I would think Irish would be resistant to Protestantism after what happened for 800 freaking years, and especially just what happened a few years ago. But these people betray everything that's true, and they'll still celebrate, they'll still celebrate Three Kings Day, Epiphany. They'll still celebrate Epiphany, right? They'll still they'll have three Kings Day cake, and it's like, are you? So you're just stealing from they're they're just stealing from us at this point, All right? Catholics, yeah, they have that horrible idea of you know, of um of, of penal substitution, satisfactory atonement, but they didn't get rid of any of the other ones, so they're not as screwy in the mind. The Protestants, what they did is they got rid of all the good things, right? They kept penal substitution, status, uh, which came out of the dueling courts, right? That's what Aunt, where Aaron Selm got it from. And they kept the twisted idea of original sin. Now, in Catholic hands, those things, we can deal with those and we can talk about with those with Catholics. But the Protestants, they... they those are dogmas that every single one of them accepts yet they claim sola scriptura find me where that says that in scripture but they're in people don't understand language shapes things the english language is actually a very protestant language and it got shaped that way for a reason and has been shaping that way um since henry the eighth right that's why the Geneva Bible was outlawed, because you couldn't have that. And the King James. King James has influenced so much of how we speak. That's why it's almost impossible to say to talk about Orthodox ideas in English. It really is. It's really screwy. Arabic and Greek are actually far better to discuss um, ideas of, of uh, Orthodoxy. Just like translate persona into English. You can't really do it. I mean, we, have, we talk about the persona, and then we translate persona persons when talking about Three persons of the Trinity, but we're not talking about bodily persons like the stupid Mormons. All right, I guess that's um, that's it. Uh, it's my little rant. I mean, I, I should just leave links to my old videos. I think they were even on John the Hut Dweller about the the different views of, of the cross, right? But um, yeah, it, it, it Pelagius was wrong, not because he was wrong about moral influence. He was wrong because he said it's only moral influence, right? Um, but how you can accept Christus Victor and, well, and the, the modern idea of ransom theory, not the original idea of ransom theory, right? Because you have to actually ask, what do you mean by ransom theory? Do you mean the, the penal substitution of Anselm? Do you mean, who, who is Christ paying a debt to? Is he he's paying it to Satan? <laughs> oh no, um... It, and some didn't like that. No, he's paying it back to, to God. Like, it just, just this weird, weird, weird thing. Like a, a schizophrenic trinity, basically. All right, um, peace to you. May God save Serbia, Syria, and Ireland.